Hi, this is Zachary Quinto from Heroes and Star Trek next year. And this is my take five. I'm in New York City, so I thought it would be interesting to rack my brain and think about the five most recently memorable performances that I saw in the theater. We'll go back to 1999, a play called Sidemen by Warren Light, starring Edie Falco. I saw that play when I was graduating from college, and I left the theater and aimlessly wandered in um, uh, uh, all directions. I had a teacher in college who always said the mark of an amazing play is when you leave the theater and don't know the direction in which you're walking. And that happened to me twice. Once when I saw Edie Falco do Simon and once when I saw Mark Ruffalo do uh, This Is Our Youth by Kenneth Lonergan. I really liked this play uh, by Tracy Letts called Bug, um, which was subsequently turned into a movie with Ashley Judd and um, Michael Shannon who did the production here that I saw. And, uh, and that play live and in a really small theater downtown um, uh, was kind of incredible because of its subject matter and because it was so sort of viscerally uncomfortable um, and compelling at the same time. I slept on Lafayette Street for 17 hours um, uh, and paid for the whole trip with an unemployment check so that I could see Meryl Streep uh, play Arcadna in The Seagull in Central Park in 2001. That was also a performance which um, stays with me today, literally, because I have the ticket stub in my wallet. Death of a Salesman, yeah. Brian Dennehy, Elizabeth Franz, and the Robert Falls production of Death of a Salesman. Elizabeth Franz in that play was so heartbreaking. Brian Dennehy was so commanding and incredible, the way that he um, manifested that loneliness and that um, despair mixed with hope. It was, uh, it was pretty... Incredible. As a theater goer and as a theater doer, those are my five for now.